That is insane. That's crazy. We've literally been hiking for what 12 hours now. Breakfast, toasted bagels, Captain Angle, 6 30 in the morning. Are you ready to go? Taking the Nutella and the peanut butter. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys, so it's about 7:20. We already packed up. We got board lunch, all the necessities for the hike. OX Expeditions gave us some gloves some winter gear so we are all packed up and ready to go ready <laughs> do you get a uh, lunch to go <laughs> who's still sleeping do you get a special one vegetarian yeah, I don't know why I've seen it but yeah, I do <laughs> So it's 8.30 and we just finished our nice breakfast, very powerful with eggs and plantains are and about to jump in the buses again to go and start the hike. So let's go. Quick stop at the gas station. You want something else? Um, I'm gonna take some sweets. <laughs> the healthy, <laughs> healthy <laughs> treats. <laughs> So after a good two hour drive from Antigua, we finally made it to the beginning of the hike. We already see some groups going on. They seem to be already prepared. We are now just waiting for our luggage, which is actually in our other car. And then we'll be on our way to the top of the volcano. Let's go! Are you cold? A little. <laughs> Everyone's huge bag. And then Beak has got a tiny school bag. A VIP toilet. Chickens. Are you guys ready? Oh, yeah, <laughs> got your steak and everything. Awesome. So little buddy here has got a little side business charging five quetzales, which is a little less than a dollar for the walking sticks, and everyone seems to rent them. So we're about to give our little friend here some money for his walking sticks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like quite a business guy here. Saludos, saludos, saludos. Look, he's got so much money. Yes, he's got so much money. He's happy. He's happy, he's got so much money. <laughs> All right, ready? Hey. Let's do it.
so tip number one of every hike is don't bring so much shit you're gonna have to carry it i was helping some people get their bags off the bus and my god they were super heavy so i'm glad we brought a super small backpack because it's already a steep incline and just carrying the water is mostly what gives you the most weight i cannot imagine doing this huge hike with just a super heavy bag and i mean you're only gonna be up there for one night what do you need to bring not much just the clean underwear and little snacks nothing else what do you think baby Hi, are you yes. glad you brought a small bag yep <laughs> On the other hand, if you really need to, they have Sherpas, I don't know how they call them here in Guatemala, that will carry your bag, a porter, for 200 quetzales. I guess you will be supporting the local economy, but I normally like to carry my stuff. Traffic jam. Thanks, you too. So these guys, the porter, she's bringing somebody else's bag. So first stop, we are at 20 minutes and the horse doesn't seem to be too happy. <laughs> How was that? Funny. <laughs> but I'm in the hike, are you doing okay? Yes. It's hard to rain. Sorry. Very busy toilet. <laughs> Flat terrain for a minute. Nice to take a break. At least we got to a part with some stairs, which makes it a little better. The toughest part is just the soil that's not very stable. So every step just makes it 10 times harder. Go, baby. Look at the dog. It's next level. Some people struggling to get up and down. Some guy just comes running with his dog as a regular Saturday morning exercise. So we just saw an old guy resting and complaining about his knees. And I gave him props for doing this, but just another reminder to live life day by day and don't wait for retirement to do the things you want to do because you never know when your legs can't just do it no more what's up doggo water let me get some water no, it's only for me. <laughs> good idea this is 50 quetzales for me 
-hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. More Hello. doggies. For two minutes, you guys can catch your breath and then we keep going. So and then we're gonna spend like 10 minutes or 15 minutes at the entrance and around 20 minutes we will be there. Okay. So they will give you a form to fill that up. The cat club first? Yes. Cool. All right, so you guys ready? Yeah. Nice and slow guys. No rush. the kind of bag I'm talking about if you're coming for one night I don't know what you need that much stuff for Tiene mojito de maracuyá? One hour into the hike, now we got to the registration, fill out some paperwork, and I guess we have to pay your entrance fees. <laughs> so after one hour and once we pass registration we get to the cloud forest and man it is very mystical up here it gets super cloudy definitely a lot colder you can start to feel the altitude and the forest just keeps getting darker the vegetation starts getting a lot greener and the hike actually gets a little easier since the soil it's a little better I'm actually starting to enjoy this part a lot more how about this cloud forest nice. very cool huh yes. very mystical You hear the wind in the trees, the little mist of the water. Walking inside clouds. Hi, oh, yes. Tired. Yeah. We're doing good. We're just getting started. I know. Can't get tired. Oh, my knees hurt. Oh, so many stairs. Stairway to heaven.
yeah, people not feeling well. Yeah, yeah, it depends with other agencies how the guys yeah. work. Because they just want to go like yeah. three or two persons yeah. and then they left the rest. Mm -hmm. Like without yeah. guide, you know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. So now we are three guys, 21 persons, yeah. and we're trying to stick together. Because it's not a good idea if I just go with three or four persons yeah. Yeah, so and then I left the group cool. behind yeah. without guide. So that's how we work. But mm -hmm. probably other agencies. Like they just go and go, they, like the yeah, guys yeah. end, the guys don't know English. I like um, that you're right. How are you feeling? You know, like for Two miles. And I feel like I have raised it ten. <laughs> Two miles up here, y'all. With high altitude in the middle of the cloud forest is not the same. If you have an emergency, and you tell them, oh, I cannot go to the meeting because I have this emergency. Guys, this is a break and this is lunch. In the your brain, you guys have a sandwich. And remember, this is the last place to buy snacks, water. If you find a place to sit, you can go actually over there too. Did everybody get their lunch or do you need to share it in all right, two hours into the hike and it's lunchtime. We got some kind of sandwich here. Some nice people gave me some coin. Say what's up. I'm the nice people. Here's the nice people. Amigo, tiene cafecito con leche? Sí. ¿A cuánto está? A 15, me das uno y botella de agua de qué tamaño? Ah, ma, ma, ¿A cuánto? Ok, una también. No, no, there, right here. Sparky, look. Yeah, get that bread. Is that it? No, there's more. There it is. How was lunch? Yeah. Had a veggie sandwich. Good. A little bit of chocolate now. Yeah, hot chocolate. It's All right, good. Uh, so it's actually like so, what so if you're doing the hike, uh, one of the best tips is you can actually buy water on the last path here, which is a good two hours up the hike, so you don't have to bring all the water up, and that will save you a lot of pain in your back and a lot of weight. Only all of YouTube looking at the toilet VIP that you're using. Best toilet in the world? <laughs> wow, luxury. <laughs> we can say. Like the ones in the uh, Dubai. <laughs> Best five-star hotel. Some pretty flowers. And the weather started to open up. We can actually see the horizon and how are you doing good how are your knees okay <laughs> we just finished having lunch now we need to go for i don't know two more hours i think so to get the base camp yep <laughs> Volcan Agua right there, and you can see Antigua right there, all the way in the back, you can actually see Guatemala City. Alright, 
so it looks like we are about to get to base camp big jump coming up i see some tents Ooh, slippery watch it all right we made it base camp Reina. Welcome to base camp. How does it look? Nice. <laughs> so here are the tents. And this is gonna be the view for today. So after four hours of hiking, we finally made it to our home for tonight, the tent at base camp, and I'm happy we made it. It was a nice hike. The weather is turning very nice on us, and we'll see if we go to Volcan Fuego. Apparently, we're gonna wait here for like an hour, chill, and then go to Volcan Fuego. Ooh, we got a little nice fire going already. It's been 20 minutes and as you can see it just got real cloudy and now we're debating if it's worth to go to see the other volcan fuego as there won't be any visibility so we're just gonna enjoy our time by the fire for now Like to go to the toilet, the VIP toilet. We're waiting to see if the weather clears up, but literally, I don't think it's happening. And here's the five stars toilet, especially for the ladies. <laughs> Wanna give the introduction to it? <laughs> to you <laughs> the toilet of the day <laughs> that's literally a shitty toilet <laughs> it, <laughs> it, is. it smells like shit <laughs> well, can... yeah uh, cut it <laughs> shall I <laughs> like, cut. <laughs> all right so patience pays off sometimes and we are woo! We are dropping 200 feet into Antigua. <laughs> All right, we're on our way to Fuego, Volcan Fuego right now, and hopefully we'll get some nice weather on the way. We got clear skies, and everyone is stoked to get to go to the volcano. area of the track <laughs> Ooh, the volcano whoa 
Ooh. Whoa, are you getting it? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. That is insane. That's crazy. Whoa. Volcan Fuego going off right in front of us is just amazing. It just keeps going and going. Yeah, right. uh -huh. Keep If you're like us and you wanted to do a catenango and you were debating if you should pay the extra money to come to Volcan Fuego, let me tell you, it's definitely worth the money, especially if you get an option, which happens very, very often. Sunset. Amazing. <laughs> with a little bit of cake in hand. Just gotta go with it. A friendly reminder that the <laughs> best moments right. sometimes are the simplest moments in life. A 50 cent pancake <laughs> and a beautiful is sunset. Like what is it? It's like a cupcake. I stand All right, right. cupcake. <laughs> I stand corrected.
and it's super windy but we are right in front of the volcano and it might go off any second now so we are just waiting after a very tough hike hi baby <laughs> That tells you how windy it is. So we got rain and then we got mad winds and you only see headlamps of people coming down. Alright, so we're taking a little break from the heavy rain and wind. Crazy hiking at night. We're making it okay so far. How you doing, love? Hanging in there? Hanging. <laughs> All right, so it's... And I'm like going like... <laughs> I just looked at the phone and it's 9 p.m. We've literally been hiking for, what, 12 hours now? We went all the way to Fuego. We picked up two miners on the way. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys? How we doing? Yeah. We're hanging in there. <laughs> the morale is still high. <laughs> Beautiful sunset. Yeah. yeah. The stars were gorgeous. I mean, yeah. But okay. it turned Take real bad real quick. Did not sign up for this, but <laughs> here we are. Still almost 45 minutes from base camp. So. Nice and easy, guys. I'm really afraid of heights. This is like my worst nightmare. Slow, just slow. You'll be okay. Yeah, you'll be fine. I know. I know. Oh god. I can't do it. Doggy, be careful. He went down. No, no, no. He went up. Yeah, yeah. He went up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think he made it to the other one. He's like right in the middle. You're fine, you're fine, just keep going. Alonso's with you, he's got gotcha. you. Alright, we made it to base camp. We made it! Welcome! <laughs> How's dinner guys? Yummy? So at least we've seen this one. Good job, Sparky. Breakfast. Toasted bagels. Good morning. So after having breakfast, <laughs> and not a really good night of sleep <laughs> in the tent because of the wind, the rain, and everything else. We are now heading back to Antigua. And remember how I said earlier on the video that if you were hesitating about doing Fuego to definitely go for it. Well, I don't take it back all the way, but it's all up depending on the weather. The hike it started to be amazing. We got an eruption, but then once we went all the way close to the crater, we waited there for like a good hour in the freezing night. And then we had to back. And then we had to hike back on the rain with a lot of wind last night. And that was 